What's going on everybody? My name is Gus and welcome back to the VR Vault. Today I'm really excited to show you one of the coolest early access games that I've had the pleasure of playing and uh, I honestly think it's one of the coolest and most unique games that I've played in VR so far. So uh, the game is called Cosmic Trip. It's available for both the HTC Vive on Steam and it uh, also just released on the early access platform uh, in Oculus Home with native touch support. So I'm gonna be delving into that, uh, t telling you guys what it's all about and uh, explaining why I think you should definitely check it out and uh, why I think it's worth uh, supporting because I think it's really cool and it's shaping up to be a fantastic experience that does a lot of really cool things in VR um, that a lot of other games haven't really tried yet. So uh, I'm gonna jump into that gameplay and uh, show you guys what it's all about. All right, everybody, welcome to Cosmic Trip. Um, so as I look around my nice little spaceship, uh, you can see that the art style of this game uh, is absolutely incredible. And uh, I, I love the cartoony, like cute vibe. And uh, you'll see more uh, once I go down to the planet um, what I'm kind of talking about. Uh, so at the moment, uh, again, this is early access, uh, but you have a choice of four different modes, uh, survival, hard mode, and hyper mode. And uh, from what I can tell so far, uh, these four options are uh, pretty much just difficulty level. So you have the survival, that's the uh, easier, medium, and then hyper mode is the hardest. Uh, this strategy mode is actually, um, I'm playing on the Oculus Home version, by the way. Um, this strategy mode is called Swarm Mode in uh, the Steam version of it. And uh, I'm not sure why the, uh, there's a difference in what version is released. Um, but on the Steam mode, you can actually play the strategy mode, and there's a lot of really, really cool stuff uh, to see in there that I'll kind of explain to you um, through the lens of this, and I'll try to give you an idea of what's going on in that. So I'm just gonna hop into hard mode real quick, uh, grab this, as you can see, I got my little blaster pistols. Uh, not really pistols, they're more just like things you grab stuff with. They're like, uh, they're like vacuums, I guess you'd say. But um, yeah, here we are. Uh, welcome to the world of Cosmic Trip. Also, as you can see, there's a little bit of a, if it turned too far away, so it works perfectly if you're using the uh, two sensor front facing camera. But yeah, as you can see, uh, I'm just here and I, um, I'm gonna start building my base. So Cosmic Trip is all about uh, building your base, collecting resources, and, uh, and just surviving as long as you can at this point. I think they're uh, gonna implement some boss battles and some uh, objectives in the future, but uh, at this point, it's pretty much just survive as long as you can. So shit, I've taken way too long, and uh, there's already a wave incoming. So uh, I was gonna try to build a bot real quick, but I guess I'm gonna defend these guys. All right, you're gonna have to get out of the way, cute little guy. Oh, shyster. All right, taking these guys out. So as you can see, um, you have your main weapon is uh, just a disc thrower. So I probably shouldn't have done hard mode now that I think about it, because I think the waves are just way shorter. But all right, let me try to explain what's going on. So basically right there is a bot builder and uh, I have to grab a battery for it and plug that in there. And uh, as I plug it in there, I can select different bots, uh, a worker bot, which will harvest crystals for me, a battle bot, a laser bot, and a medic bot. And uh, all of these different bots will float around and uh, assist me against the incoming attackers. Hi, buddy. Oh, freaking adorable, right? Um, but yeah, so these guys will, this one will harvest. I actually have to make a refinery now. Hello, all right, thank you. That was not as helpful as you might've hoped. Um, but yeah, it's it's so it's so RTSy and it has so many like StarCraft vibes. But the fact that you're actually grabbing batteries and plugging stuff in and uh, buying a different bot, I'm gonna buy a battle bot as well. And uh, you're actually interacting with the world instead of just being like, I'm gonna construct more pylons or whatever. Um, it makes it feel so cool. And this is one of the oh jeez, I'm pretty bad at this shit. Not gonna lie. Uh, where's that last one? Take him down. Right, I think we're good. I think we're good. But yeah, just the uh, just the fact that you're actually interacting with this stuff and you're actually uh, moving around and, and interacting with these different elements of the game make it so much more enjoyable to play than just clicking on your computer screen, as with most things in VR. So this is gonna be a map uh, that's obviously coming soon. Um, but yeah, so there's uh, all these different bots to choose from. There's also a couple of different uh, weapon modifications that you can get. And uh, hello, all right, relax, guy. You're getting in my face. All right, I'll give you some love, there you go. But yeah, um, there's a couple of different weapon modifications that you can use as well. So you have your, your regular one, uh, which is the discs. Um, you have a bubble launcher and a shield. And just, just the way that you select weapons, it's so, it's so intuitive. You press and hold the A button and you just stick your, uh, you stick your little multi-tool in the weapon that you want. So I guess I'm gonna be dual wielding these bad boys. I'm gonna build another worker bot while we're waiting. Uh, battle bot, oh, I don't have enough, uh, I don't have enough crystals. Probably build another worker bot pretty soon too. Oh geez, is my battle bot taking? Oh, yeah. Thought it was the other way around. 
And uh, yeah, the waves get progressively harder. Um, there's actually a lot of variation in enemy type, surprisingly, which I, I was uh, really, really happy to see. It wasn't just all the same enemy. Uh, there's a couple of different ones. There's some bigger ones, some big bad guys that absolutely came out of nowhere and scared the shit out of me once or twice. Um, but yeah, the enemy types are already super varied. And, uh, and something that I really like about this game, and I'm gonna uh, try to explain, uh, it's the part that was the survival mode uh, that's in the Steam version right now. But basically when you open this, there's a whole, or actually I think it's this menu, there's a whole list of upgrades that you have to build before you can get these different things. So for example, let's say I wanted to build a laser bot, I would have to first build a laser bot command center, which would give me access to the laser bot and uh, maybe like the bubble tool or something. And, and there's different things, that, there's different prerequisites you need to meet for all these different tools, and I think that's so interesting. And it makes it so so much better than just being like, oh, I have enough resources, now I can, uh, right. these guys are a little far away. All right, I'm gonna take you down. And uh, yeah, so these, these, these enemies will just attack, and uh, I think they will attack all of your robots and your, uh, your buildings before they attack you. But uh, if you end up dying, um, then the, the game is over, and that's how you lose. So, um, all right. So I'm gonna move on. So this this home base is okay. Uh, it's not it's not as defended as I'd like. Uh, I'll do another battle bot here. But this is not just your only zone. So as I pull up this teleporter and step through it, now I'm over here, and you can just let me turn around. You can just set up different refineries at all these different locations, and really, oh, he follows you around too. What a lovely dude. But yeah, there's a, a bunch of different environments. I think that one's more populated with enemies. I think those, those areas are kind of uh, a little bit more challenging, so you're gonna wanna go to those uh, later in the game, and you're gonna wanna be able to, to have a pretty, pretty solid grasp on uh, your, your very home territory before you go venturing out into those different spots. So wave five is incoming. I'm gonna try to defend this off. And, uh, and then I'm gonna try to try to collect a couple more resources. I want to show you guys the turret too, because the second that I tried the turret, I was like completely sold. It's such a cool little uh, such a cool little uh, feature of this game, and uh, it kind of solves the problem of uh, not like I don't know. I don't I don't necessarily like uh, throwing things as my primary weapon. I mean, it definitely changes it up from just doing uh, shooting. But uh, again, it, it's, it's personal preference, and it works well within the context of this game, so uh, I can't complain because, it, it, and again, the turret is a great solution to that as well. So as you can see, you can also just uh, harvest the crystals yourself, which is a, a much slower and more arduous task, but uh, I believe there are a couple achievements for it. And uh, we, could just, we could just continue building bots, uh, continue, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna add another one of those. And uh, you can just continue building bots, continue building up your base, and, uh, and building different uh, weapons and upgrades and stuff like that. And this, uh, as far as I know, is the first really like kind of tr uh, RTS that has been tried uh, in virtual reality, uh, for, to the extent of my knowledge. And I think uh, the combination of just the graphics and the gameplay and the combat, it, it all works so well. And the fact that this game has so much polish this game has such an incredible amount of polish, and it's still in early access. Like, this game absolutely, absolutely deserves uh, your guys' support. And it, I mean, the developers working so hard on it, and it really shows with the way that all the mechanics work together and uh, the way that the art style just fits the, the cute little dudes. And it, everything just works so well. Um, I think it's definitely one of my favorite titles, and it's still not even finished yet. So let's see how far off, oh, let's see, all right, 23 crystals. Like, look at that, just the UI design in this game is incredible. You just flip your wrists over like that, and uh, you check how many resources you have. Um, let's see if I can try to Cosmo Turret. I need a couple more, a couple more crystals. So let's try to get these before the next wave starts. And uh, as you can see as well, the, uh, the batteries on all these different devices are, uh, in fact, draining as I use them. So. Uh, that battery is uh, lowering, so you have to kind of keep an eye on those and uh, replace them as needed. Um, so I think that should be enough. Turret, yes. All right, this turret is so goddamn cool. All right, uh, I'm gonna plop it right there. Now I'm gonna need to build a battery. Uh, I need, there we go. All right, and so with the turret, <laughs> this is so damn sweet. All right, so there's a big guy that we're talking about, and you literally just like grab a hold of the turret and start decimating these dudes. And it's just like, when I when I first grabbed onto this, I was just like, holy shit, this is some real ass, this is some real ass gameplay right here. And I was just absolutely blown, oh geez, knocking them all around. 
are kind of taking a little bit of damage. It's kind of hard to aim. The, uh, the reticle doesn't perfectly line up with uh, where you're shooting. I don't know if that's just me sucking at the game again. Um, but yeah, it, <laughs> that's freaking awesome. And it just, it utilizes both of your hands and both of the controllers in a believable way. It's like, okay, I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna switch my tool. Uh, I'm gonna try to maybe show you guys another 25. Six. All right, let's, let's let's double time this mining process and see if we can see if we can get a, a couple more weapons just so I can show you guys a little bit of that variety as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, just super impressed by this game. Super impressed by what it's going for. And uh, and it, like I said, the foundation of this game, the the way that it, the way that the, the things that it's put, the systems it's put in place um, to build upon as this early access game continues in its development. I think are great building blocks and can they can do so much with this. They can do so much in terms of survival, uh, in terms of different game modes, which they already have a decent, uh, a couple of. And uh, it's just fun, it's just a blast. And uh, the difficulty ramps up, um, even not in hard mode. Uh, things will come out of nowhere and they'll really keep you, keep you guessing they'll be attacking if you make another base uh, somewhere else. Oh geez, I think they took down my refinery. That's not good and I'm going down. Oh geez, they really, just assaulted me, and I had no way of being prepared. So yeah, hard mode is pretty difficult. And uh, even, all right, oh, going down. I don't think I'm gonna survive this one. Maybe if I can hit these things. Am I alive? Nope, you son of a bitch. All right, holy, all right. So basically, I survived, but my entire camp is decimated, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it out of this one. Um, but like I said, the, the difficulty ramps up, and uh, you'll always be on your toes. So if you build a if you build a base in a different spot, so let's let's kind of wander over here. Uh, if you build a base in one of these different outposts or something, uh, you definitely got to keep an eye on them because you got to be able to remember. And that's why I think the uh, the map will come in handy once that's uh, implemented. But yeah, just keeping an eye on your different uh, resources and different uh, different uh, things, collecting stuff, and just kind of building all these mini outposts is such a fun gameplay loop, and uh, I definitely am a big fan of it and think you guys should certainly check it out. So if you want to see this game, I will link the Steam page and the Oculus Home Store page in the uh, description of this video. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little preview. Bring it on. All right, say goodbye, Mr. Robot. Goodbye, up, oh, they're coming for, up, oh, they're coming for us. We're probably gonna die. Bye, robots. Oh my God, taking me down. All right, yes, that's, that's about it for me. Bye, robots. Be free. Go on without me. Uh. Yeah, pretty freaking awesome. Well, there you go. That was a first look at a cosmic trip. Like I mentioned, uh, the game is still in early access, so there are still parts of it that are being developed as we speak. Um, but I really think that the uh, foundation that they're working with is something that's incredible. And I think the final game, uh, even, even what they have right now is fun to play, but as they implement more features and as the uh, strategy mode uh, comes more to fruition and there's uh, different upgrade paths and all these kinds of things and uh, possibly multiplayer, I don't know. Um, when all of these things come together, I think it's going to be one of the strongest VR titles because it has that substance. It has the base building. It has the interaction with different things. And, uh, and the way that it makes you feel and use the VR controllers, I think, is, uh, is unmatched by many games that I've played uh, to date. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like. If you didn't, uh, be sure to leave it a dislike. That's how I know uh, what to work on and uh, what I'm doing all right. Uh, also, if you think I need a haircut, which I definitely do, uh, be sure to leave a comment in the uh, comments below. Um, also, if you haven't checked out some of my other Oculus Touch coverage, uh, there will be a link in the description below to my playlist with all my other Oculus Touch videos. And uh, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the VR Vault today for more videos just like this. All right, that's about it for me. Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you next time.